Hi, I'm Lisa Waitman, winner of the 2010 Perth City of the Surf, and I'd like to welcome you here today for the Breakfast of Champions. Firstly, I'd like to congratulate you on entering the race, and I'd also like to wish you the very best of luck. Together, today we're going to go through the course and give you a few little tips and tricks along the journey of the Perth City of the Surf. Hopefully this will help you along the way to improve your overall position and get that edge on your competitors. Start lines are always extremely daunting for us athletes. Checking your watch, checking that your shoes are tied up properly, making sure you get that extra little bit of water and also the wonderful toilet stops that we keep wanting to do before the gun goes off. The best advice I can give you when you're on the start line at the Perth City of the Surf is to really prepare early on. Prepare a race process and practice that process in some of your training regimes. For example, put together a schedule early on before race day. Think about the things that you want to do in preparation on the start line. Have some friends around you to make the morning a really enjoyable morning on the start line. I always like to put a checklist together before race day. It helps me remember things like my shoes, my gels, my water, all those things that you just have as your security before the race day. And remember to get to the race early, give yourself ample time to warm up. When standing on the start line, you can't help but look up at Narkham Street and think, gee, that's a nasty hill up ahead. When I ran it last year in 2010, I tucked in behind a group of boys going at the pace that I was really keen on starting out in. Make sure that you pace yourself really early on don't try and run too quickly up the first hill as you'll go into oxygen debt and your race won't be an enjoyable experience going forward. I remember one of the guys said to me on the race, why aren't you up the front, Lisa? You should be up there. I thought to myself, don't worry, I'll get there shortly. I paced myself and it put me in good stead for the record later on. As you come up over the hill, break into a nice rhythmic stride Use that downhill to allow yourself to recover from the nasty uphill you've just completed. Don't forget to smile. Remember, relaxation is your opportunity to improve your next part of the race and also get that air, well-earned air, back into your lungs. Know your rhythmic pace and step into it, gliding along Hay Street. And don't forget to smile. Relaxation is really important when you're at this stage of the race. There's a few little hills that are going to test you along the way, so get ready for those. Approaching the halfway point can be one of two things. A joyous experience because you've reached your first milestone, you've hit the halfway point. Or it can be panic. Panic because you've gone out a little too hard too early. Don't despair though if it's the second one. Just find a couple of runners nearby, hook on to their pace and let them take you on that journey to the second half of the race and onto the finish line. focus on how tired you are as you take that stretch along Underwood Avenue. Of course you're going to be tired at this point of the race. You've just gotten through all those nasty hills so far and you're on your way to the finish line. If it was easy, everyone would do it. Enjoy the shady part along Perry Lakes. Enjoy the cooling effect that the trees give you as you head towards the path to elation. The finish line is not too far away now, so keep pressing on.
Focus on catching the next person in front of you. And don't forget, when you catch up to them, just pass on by. Now for the slight downhill stretch of the finish line. 400 metres left to go. I hope that you're enjoying this experience and smiling, ready for your photo to be taken on the finish line. Enjoy the last moment of your race. Remember, pain is only temporary, so keep that smile on your face. After crossing the line, you'll be absolutely stoked. Even if you haven't quite achieved your personal best, you've just achieved a 2011 City to Surf. Pat yourself on the back, celebrate with your friends, but don't forget post-race recovery. When you've gone through the precinct, ensure that you get yourself some nice food, ensure that you've checked your feet, changed your shoes, and got some warm clothes on. And after that, get out for a little walk dog. I know it's tough, the legs are sore, the quads are burning, but you'll be thankful in a couple of days time when you've removed some of that lactic buildup in your legs. Finally, I just want to wish you all the very best on your journey in the first year to the surf. I won't be out there this time round, but I'll be thinking of all of you in your quest for personal best. Have a great day and I look forward to seeing the results.